Hi, it's Miss Julie. Do you know what kind of tree this is? It's a buckeye tree. There aren't as many buckeye trees in Pittsburgh as there are maple trees or oak trees and some other kinds of trees, but there are several buckeye trees around my house. Maddie and I just went for a walk and we found some buckeye leaves and some young buckeye seeds that I'd like to show you in a few minutes. But first I wanna tell you a couple things about buckeyes and buckeye trees. This is what a mature buckeye seed looks like. Um, see how it's a brown circle with a lighter circle inside. Somebody thought that that looked like the eye of a deer. And you know a male deer is called a buck, so they called it a buck eye. I'd like to show you a deer eye now, and you can see if you think it looks anything like a real buckeye. What do you think? Do you think buckeye is a good name for those seeds that come off a buckeye tree? The deer's eye is roundish, and it has a different coloring in the center of it. I'm not sure it looks so much like a buckeye, though. So I wanted to show you what I collected on my walk today. These are the leaves from a buckeye tree. And you can see it has an interesting design on the outside of the leaf. They're, it's really very jaggedy. And then it comes to one point up at the top. Now that point does not hurt because this is a leaf. It's pretty soft. But the spikes on the actual buckeye do hurt when they get older and more mature. So I was thinking we could count these leaves. This is a single stem from the buckeye tree, and let's count how many leaves are on a single stem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaves grew on one stem. Now let's look at the um, buckeyes that were growing. So here is a stem, and you can see these little baby buckeyes growing on these individual stems. Now they have spikes. You can see those spikes, right? But they don't hurt. I can push and squeeze, and they don't hurt. Do you see this brown stuff here? Those used to be flowers, and the flowers grew these buckeye seeds and the buckeye seeds will get bigger and bigger and then when they're brown and much harder they fall off the tree the buckeye seed that I showed you that some people think look, looks like a deer's eye those fall to the ground and then those would become new buckeye trees if they get into the ground and start to grow if they get water and sunlight and they have the right conditions to grow. Now, one thing I learned, I've been collecting buckeyes my whole life. I learned that they're poisonous. So I'm gonna take one apart and then I'm gonna be careful to clean up all the little parts because I would not want Maddie to eat any of the parts of this buckeye tree because it might make her sick. And then I'll wash my hands very carefully when I'm finished. So I, I'm gonna pull off, let me pull off one of the bigger ones. I'll pull this off. And I'm just going to use my fingernails to pull this apart. And inside, it's not brown like what we saw in those pictures. It's, you see in there, it's kind of white inside and it's really very hard for me to dig. I'm going to stop there because I don't want to dig anymore and get any more small parts around my house. But that's what it looks like inside a buckeye when the buckeye is very young. When the buckeyes get older, they turn into those brown things. So if you have any buckeye trees near your house, take a look, look up and see if you can find any of the young buckeyes growing on the tree. And then later this summer or in the fall, when the buckeyes start to fall to the ground, and you want to pick them up, remember that they're poisonous. Never put them near your mouth and be careful of those sharp spikes. Happy tree exploring!